In this video I'm going to show you how to assign a single user to multiple accounts. So we're in DocSafe here, um, I'm going to create a new client um, uh, to start with as a limited company. So let's create a new client and let's call that client uh, Davis Roofing Limited. I'm going to save that information. If we go and search for Davis now, you'll notice that the folders have already been created because we have a default folder setting. So the client is now created, you have your folders. What we need is a user to log into that account. So let's go to click Sign Users. Let's go and create a new user. Now this person, here, let's call him Sam. So. Um, and his name will be Sam. Ah, this person's already registered. So let's change that to Sam at Davis Roofing. UK. Sam Davis. So that person, um, also note while we're here that you can auto email that person if you leave that tick. That's going to send an email to them telling them they've just been created on DocSafe. But because this is a test, I'm not going to do that. So let's save those details. So what we've got now is an account called um, Davis Roofing for the limited company. And we've assigned Sam to Davis Roofing Limited. That's the end of um, setting up Davis Roofing. And Sam can now log in and access whatever is in Davis Roofing. What we're also going to do is create Sam um, a private account. So go back to clients again, create a new client this time, and call this uh, Davis Sam. Um, and this will be for his private information. So that's now created. If we go to Davis Sam as a client, we can now assign a user. So if we go to assign a user, and let's go and pick up Sam again at davisroofing.co.uk. The system tells me that that person has already been created, which is correct. All we're doing is assigning that person again to another account. Okay, so that's all set up. Now Sam, as a user, is connected to both accounts. We can tell that, so let's go and search for Sam as a user. And what you'll see now is Sam is connected to both Davis Roofing and his private account called Davis Sam. So when Sam logs into DocSafe through the website, he will see both accounts. So he'll never have to have more than one login to remember.